One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I got here for you today is an absolutely beautiful 1989 Chevrolet Corvette. It's in great shape. It runs good, drives good, steers good. I'm backing up and zooming in to try and get you a couple different angles without my shadow in it, just at that time of day. And freehand in this here camera with shadows. I I'm just, I'm working, I'm telling you, I'm working. This car's for sale. It's a good car. I drove it around a little bit and I always, always enjoy driving these little Corvettes. Now, if I was a kid, youngin, teen, early 20s, and everybody else is driving a Honda Civic with the blit mufflers and the little spoiler, I don't know why I wouldn't be the guy driving around in a Corvette. I mean, it's probably gonna go to someone a little older than the younger, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But just to be that cool younger person that is the one that drives this kind of a car when everybody else don't, I would be that unique one. Probably wouldn't have a girlfriend because I didn't have a cool Honda. But <laughs> this is a sweet car. It's gonna be, that's a once around. I'm just gonna go around there, I showed you everything. Um, I'm gonna show you underneath now, I'm gonna go around to show you any little flaws or damages or anything on the outside, the paint and everything. Um, to be quite honest, I didn't buff this car or do any thorough detail to it. We washed it, is pretty much what we did. We cleaned it up, washed it, and dressed it. Like a Barbie. So, that's that. It's clean under here. Okay, I learned how to brighten up my camera. So that should do it. Beautiful, nice car. I'm pretty sure it's been painted. And they did a good job on it. It looks nice. Um, it's in good shape. I'll go down the sides and I'll tell you, there's no dings. It's fiberglass. It's not really dingy. It's not wavy. It's just, it's pretty stinking straight. Everything's pretty straight on it. It's a nice car. There's miscellaneous little chips and such. My hands are filthy. I'm sorry. I've been working all day. A little chip right there. A little polish. It looks like there's some paint under that. There's a couple little chips and fisheye type things. Nothing real serious. But like one thing there and a couple in here. And you know, it's more the fisheye thing right there. There's a chip right there. Just not really a lot to talk about. If you cut and buff this car, it would shine like no. It's already shining like crazy. Wheel wells and all the stuff. It's absolutely beautiful. Look inside there. Take a look inside this wonderful Corvette wheel well. Seriously. I didn't, look at this, I'm serious. Here's how serious I am about the detail. You can see that? Watch. This is with my finger. This isn't with mothers or nothing. These wheels are not even polished. Um, I have a friend from Russia who's here and we've been buying cars and look, I'm just shining this up as, and it's still dull because I got finger all on. So I need to have some mothers and it would shine even more like this. It's sad, the detailing we did, but at the same time, I'm trying to move 11 cars off a lot this month and anything I can sell is good. So I'm kind of not, look at my fingers even dirtier. A couple tiny chips, nothing to really write home about on this vet as far as damage goes. In fact, when we blew everything apart, even though this foam is a little bit off right there, when we blew this thing apart with the power washer, it didn't even flip any water inside, which is rare on these. This here, there's a little rub mark because when I did the top, it poured everything out here and there was a couple drips there which came from when I opened the hood when I got up here. Small crackage right there. A small little rub mark right there. That is not into it. That might buff out. I did not even buff it. A little scratch, a little tiny scratch. I don't know if this is a Greenwood or any kind of thing special. It's kind of cool. It says Corvette. And it's faded. Clear coat's going. Now, I could get this redone for you in black, so cheap it's pitiful. Um, color matching is like 50 bucks no matter what. So I could color match it and get a color match and get that painted for you if you wanted. Um, it takes transport back and forth. And it's not a quick deal. You could probably get someone in your town to do it and then come with a warranty. I don't know if this is upgraded lights. Um, I don't recall an 89 having square-ish taillights. Underneath it, the exhaust is awesome. This is it, there we go. Everything about this car is clean. Um, no complaints here. That's the worst of damage, really. Um, a little bit, this could use a buffing. It's getting dry a little bit right there. Um, just sun, uh, but buffing this thing and polishing it, it would be good for years to come. Years to come, I tell you. And that's what it is exactly. It needs some buffing on this. And I haven't done nothing. It's just here. And it's in absolutely gorgeous shape. Um, you just, this, <laughs> it makes me so, so sad to 
know that. I mean, I just had to do these wheels a little bit more. And it pops back at you. It makes the picture look better. So I'm at a disadvantage is what I am. Um, all the seals and stuff are good. It's all in great shape. It's a nice car. It really is a nice car. Uh, I'm going to keep going and showing. Um, glass. I don't see no big chips around there. There's some sticker residue. No big chips or anything anywhere. Um, this could be sprayed black if you really wanted to. Um, I'm going to go down the side and show you. Across the hood, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's a nice car. I really, really like these cars. This one has a small crack starting right there. And underneath this piece of rock car, so there's a gouge in it there. And same thing on the other side, it looks like. Um, but it's in good shape. They're mostly all bust. It's so clean. Clean car. So I'm going to take a couple more pictures and such tonight. We're going to do a quick test drive and drive you around the block. Um, see how the thing runs. Well, I know how it runs. Piece of foam missing there. These pieces fall out and people rip them. Um, they get halfway out and someone always comes along and picks at it. it. Just sucks. The tires are older, but they got a lot of tread. They're a Fusion ZRI or ZR1. Uh, plenty of tread. Well, this one here, let's say. What is that? 50% I'd say, 60? The fronts have even more. Little titty still on the side and everything. Yeah, the fronts have like 70%. A little bit of dry rot starting. Nothing too serious. What does it look like? There's a little gouge. Right there, there's a teeny bit starting in there. So they're older tires. Beautiful wheels. Everything about this car is just nice as can be. Small little... Scratchy scouch, scratchy scratch there. Okay, I don't see anything special on this side. Even the little black seals between the body parts is there. Just in great shape, in great shape. Okay, well that's kind of walk around. Trying to think. Oh yeah, the hood, um, I want to say ornament, but that's not correct. The hood emblem is missing. And that's that. On the windshield wipers, if you wanted to. You could spray them or something. In fact, if I don't detail them up, look at, as I'm telling you, it looks like that. And all I had to do is just go like that, a little rag, and it'll look spectacular. So, not a good detail on my part. But, like I say, we are spinning through some cars, man. We are doing some cars right now. We're getting rid of them and detailing stuff. And right now, we're hitting the road. You gotta be careful, man. You get on this thing too hard, it'll spin around in a circle on you. It's just so, they're so light in the ass. And honestly, I throw myself a 100 pound bag of concrete back here, three bags of kitty litter or something, it'd be perfect. Look at that, smudge on the window. I'm not happy with my detail job. Pull out in front of that dump truck wouldn't be that friendly of a day, would it? That is, oh wow! It's a big semi. There goes the back end whipping. So it, it, it goes. The, the car, look at that S Cargo. Business solutions and security services for complex room. Have they got the little holes to shoot at you? That thing is locked up tight. Go on, buddy. I seen an armored car broke down yesterday. And they had actually a, another armored car there and people had their hands by their guns and they were, they were doing it to it. My yard is there. Check out my website, one on the car guy, one on the car guy.com. Ouch, that's a big bump. And, um, all kinds of cars on there. I have unique, cool things for sale. The car pulls, man. It drives so nice. Ooh, look at this. And this is destined, destined to become a classic. They just don't have the value is so through the floor. This is such a cheap car. Yes, I said a cheap car, because it is a cheap car. 
I want kilometers here. Hang on. I guess so. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with propane and propane accessories. Kind of funny, we're actually pulling into the place where you buy petrol. Shocks, everything feel good. I think it's a KYB or something. Is it a uh, yellow one up front? Remember that just KYB. Where did I come up with that at? I don't know. Seen it on a Corvette before, I think. Had a Corvette with a Coney. Had those too. Shifts nice, brakes nice, steers nice. The wheel's in great shape. This car is clean. And it's something that if you have in your garage and you drive all the time, it's going to be a great daily driver for cheap. If you drive it on the weekends and don't put a lot of miles on it, I mean, it's just going to be a great little cream puff investor car. There's, a, there's a 119,000 miles on it. Like right there, you can get yourself in trouble if you laid on it wrong. So when you get it, just be careful, especially if you haven't driven this kind of a car. But I'll tell you what, I, I'd be driving this around versus a Honda Civic any day of the week. And I'll tell you what, you almost get the same kind of gas mileage. That is an honest to goodness fact. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna go up and park up here and I'm gonna show everybody the interior and do that deal. Um, call it good. And here we go. Man, this car is cheaper than that Air 4, man. It's cheaper than anything around you. And that's what's sad and sick and just gonna be a great investment car. That's what, I sell a lot of cars. I, I've sold close to 10,000 cars. I mean, come on, I've sold so many cars. But, this one, since the Trans Am in the late 90s and early 2000s, I haven't seen anything so severely undervalued save a couple things. Right now, this is just one of the most undervalued cars out there. It's such a joy to drive for the money. So we're here, I'm gonna do a quick outro and show you it in a different light real quick. I'm gonna do a complete review of the interior and everything right now. Um, so if there's any questions on that, you'll find the interior re review on my channel. There's like 12 or 15 minutes on this video left. That means you're watching the full one and I've combined them. So that's that, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Now you know what, people try to save money. Tesla. No gas. <laughs> $85,000. Cheap! Thanks for watching. I mean, you don't, you can buy so much gas, you'd have to drive that Tesla 2 million miles to pay for it. You wouldn't even do it then. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. One on a car guy.com.